CPHI MIS exam preparation question and answer. Question number 71. A healthcare IT department is in the process of transitioning to new coding standard. The department uses a heat map and vendor survey process to assess the impact of the changes. Estimates derived would primarily be used to create a. a staffing plan, b. work plan, c. communication plan, and d. budget plan. Answer B. Work plan. Explanation. The heat map and vendor survey will identify the most important impacts to drive the work plan. All of the other plans cannot be determined until the work plan is identified. Question number 72. Important elements in forecasting technical and information needs of an organization are all except A operational and organizational goals driven by IT, b re resources that support clear definitions of new projects, c access to tactical steps and prioritization of activities, d methodology to facilitate a process and identify measures that define progress and success. Answer A. Operational and organizational goals driven by IT. Question number 73. Leadership is a critical skill for executive managers. A. B. Every individual of an organization. C. CIO and CTO. And D. Project managers. Answer B. Every individual of an organization. Question number 74. Once you have a good performing model and you have tested it sufficiently on your training data, it is time to implement it in the real world. Which tasks are essential for successful model deployment? A. Ensure model is activated at the right time in the workflow appropriately alert the clinician and allows a specific action b it is not necessary to get buy-in from clinician since the model embedded in ehr will tell them what to do c such models should only be created for research purpose and should not be used to support direct patient care d the model should only be implemented in the latest version of ehr software Answer A. Ensure the model is activated at right time in the workflow, appropriately alerts the clinician and allows specific action. Explanations. Models not only have to be predictive, but the prediction needs to be presented to clinician at a time in a clinical workflow when they can use the information to perform an action or intervention to potentially improve an outcome. Clinician must be intimately involved in developing and deploying the model for it to be successful. Question number 75. The Director of Quality is investigating data to understand the improvements needed to reduce patients returning after an emergency room visit and having to conduct tests that were missing from the original visit. There is a great deal of patient data collected in the database. She is focusing on the emergency room patient data and need only information that those patients who return. With the data, she will be conducting some analysis that is contained in the data warehouse. What tools or process should the director of quality utilize? A. Software as a service. B. Decision support system. C. Data, data mart. And D. Data mining. Answer D. 
is correct. Data mining is the process of analyzing data from different perspectives and summarizing into useful information. It is a process of finding correlation and pattern among the patient data that were registered in the emergency room. The director of quality would be using data mining to analyze the data. Question number 76. A hospital has an old, outdated information system and is implementing a new one. Data must be moved into new system and since the new system reflects new standards of data collection, the data must be reformatted to accommodate the new system requirement. This process of changing data format is called a data standard conformance, b data conversion, c data mapping and the certifications. Answer B. Data conversion. Question number 77. Data science is fast becoming very useful in healthcare, but success requires close collaboration between people with clinical knowledge and people with data and computer expertise. Which of the following is true about data science in healthcare? Data science A can be understood sufficiently by everyone in healthcare organization. B is easy since we give raw EHR data to machine learning algorithm to produce high accurate results. C is somewhat of fad and it won't have significant impact in improving healthcare. D only needs to be understood by a few people in healthcare organization. Answer C can be understood sufficiently by everyone in healthcare organization. Explanation If everyone involved in data science initiative understands the basic concept of how data science works, the project will have higher probability of success. Some of the team members will have more clinical knowledge and some will have more technical knowledge, but everyone can speak the same data science language and can help reduce the knowledge gap. Having many knowledge, people participate in data science initiative improves the chance for success. Question number 78. When managing an SL environment, the IT department will utilize the following process except help desk trials, issues tracking, user satisfaction survey, and D design document. Sorry, I will read it again. A help desk trials, B issue tracking, C user satisfaction service and D design documents. Answer D design document. Question number 79. Which of the following is included in service level SL agreement? Reporting mechanism. Number one reporting mechanism. Number two resources provided number three cost of the system and number four change management right answer is a one and two reporting mechanism manage uh, sorry reporting mechanism and resource provided Question number 80. What is the logical first step in starting clinical knowledge management program within the iterative knowledge management framework? A. Build its standards based interoperable knowledge assets. B. Centralize the process of creating knowledge assets. C. Create a catalog of existing knowledge assets including re relationship with metadata. D. Establish knowledge assets life cycle answer c 
create a catalog of, catalog of existing knowledge assets including relationship with metadata explanation and initial assessment of all institutionally available knowledge assets is desirable understand the level of existing knowledge identify redundancies identify gaps and responsibilities 